Okay, Robin, so what if we haven't touched our machinery all winter? What, what do you suggest? Uh, so, basics, you can kind of do some yourself. So, uh, clean the air filter out, check the spark plug, give that either a change or a bit of a clean, uh, some fresh petrol, um, just give it a run, maybe an oil change. If you use mechanics and fitters, get it away, get it serviced, get it sharpened, get it all ready for the season. So, uh, this is the mower we've been predominantly using through the winter. So, this has been serviced, it's been sharpened the engine's been given a once over. So we like a mower like this, this kind of year, because it's it's a, a cylinder, cutting cylinder on it with less blades, so it's a little bit kinder on the winter grass still. Um, a little bit more weight in it than a smaller mower, so it's doing a little bit of pre-season rolling every time we cut it. So we'll run this across the square once or twice a week if we can. Um, and once that's started to take that pretty well, then we'll start looking at increasing weight with rollers. Um, so we'll go into either light rollers or potentially a mower like this with, with a couple of bags of soil in the front of it just to add some weight and then eventually up into your big you know your big normal pitch rollers onto the square which there's no golden rule with that um, you'll know your square you know when conditions will allow that in terms of amount of passes and time it really is you know as much as you can or or whatever you can we here we like to get at least four passes in with the big roller pre-season so we'll do right across the square we'll do the two diagonals and we'll always finish with the last pass with the direction of play so you're putting a, a union jack kind of pattern into the square when you're rolling um, but machines it's just a case about getting them out getting them running leaving them ticking over for a little bit let that engine warm up um, if you can change the oil change oils plugs filters uh, all the usual just make sure really before you get into that season um, and you start to hit the ground running that everything is kind of ready is running properly, last thing you want to do is get close to the season, pull the mower out of the shed, find it's not running properly and leave yourself with a bit of a problem. Okay Robin, so what do groundskeepers need to start looking at uh, this time of year? Uh, well this time of year you want to, you know, obviously guys are going to be coming back after winter back onto their ground so you want to have a little bit of a look around, assess conditions, you know, start to make a plan of, of the month through to March into April when, when fixtures will start. So we're at the moment, we're looking at some, some little bare ends that we've got on the square here that haven't quite come back. So uh, we run a dimple cedar through the square last week. Uh, so these now will just level up with a little bit of top dressing. And as, as temperatures start to increase a little bit, and especially as, as we're covering a lot at the moment as well, temperatures will come up and we should start to see some germination and they'll start to fill in quite nicely. Robin, tell us about cutting length of the uh, square at this time of year. Yeah, so, so at the moment here on the square we're, we've cut down to about 18 mil, which we've stepped down from, from winter heights. We're about 25 mil through the winter, so we're, we're gradually starting to bring the height down now with each cut. So we'll bring it down a couple of millimetres at a time. Um, we'll stand it up and try and brush it as we're cutting so we get a nice clean cut. Bringing up any grass that's just sat down over the winter. Um, but really you just want to be looking to, to step it down now into the season. So decreases of two or three millimetres a time. Um, when you cut, every time you cut, try and cut a couple of different ways. Because you're starting the pre-season rolling process as well while you're cutting. Uh, also cutting it as, as regularly as you can now is going to start to, to thicken the leaf up and thicken the swords of the grass up, which is going to give you a better coverage of grass then coming into the season. So it's that time of year now we want to be brushing, cutting down, increasing the height as you go maybe looking in the next couple of weeks at a, a pre-season fertiliser, so either a cold start or a slow release fertiliser that's going to hold you through the year. But as the temperatures get up, you should see that growth increase and the pickup of the fertiliser you know, a little bit better as well. So everything will just start to come out that winter nicely, ready for the playing season. So should we still be spiking the outfield at this time of year? Uh, yeah, yeah. if conditions allow you to get on and you can open it up and spike it or slit it or anything like that, it's all going to help. So as the grass again starts to come out of the winter and it starts to pick up and grow, any spike holes and holes you've got in it are just going to encourage roots down into those holes, which are going to give you a stronger plant again. So we spiked our outfield about two weeks ago, which you can just about make out some of the holes are a little bit open. We'll spike it again potentially this week or next week. Um, and that'll probably be the last spike it has now before the season, but we'll still look to spike it during the season when we get a chance if we get a gap in fixtures, just to keep that top open, to keep the air exchange up, to keep roots going down. It'll help a little bit with drainage. Um, similar again on the outfield, if we really come back to your grounds, have a look around it, see if there's any problems, any disease, uh, brushing, 
cut in, starting to bring the height down just gradually as you go ready, ready for the playing season. So Robin, so Fire Gardens has undergone some pretty major changes over the years, but you instigated one yourself back at the end of September. Tell us, what, what was that all about? Yes, yeah, so we did quite a, a big renovation project on the outfield this year. Um, originally, we scheduled it in if we weren't going to play cricket, because we thought we'd have a, a better growing window for it um, and a bit more time to get it right. Um, that obviously didn't transpire when we did go back to cricket and we played some games here, which was great. Great to see cricket back. Um, but we ended up going ahead with it at the end of September anyway, which ideally was a month later than we would have liked to have done it, but we just felt that it needed to be done and it got to the point where it needed to be done. So what we found over the last couple of years, since the outfield was laid in 2008, ready for the Ashes in 2009, um, the thatch build up in the top of, of the outfield has started to just get bigger and bigger and a little bit out of control. Um, it was affecting drainage quite a little bit. We found the outfield was sitting wetter than it had before, even with kind of the mechanical spiking and things that we've been doing to keep the top open. Um, so we knew we had this thatch layer of about 10 millimetres in there, which is just a big kind of spongy layer of dead grass that kind of acts as a sponge really and holds all the water in um, and just is a bit of a problem. So we brought a machine in which is called a Coro, which is kind of a big turf plane which just cuts under that level. So we went in about between 10 and 12 millimetres to cut under that level of thatch to rip it all the way, to take it all the way. So we did that across the whole outfield. Um, we then seeded into the base that we were left with in four directions. Sand dressed over the top of that with about 140 tonne of sand. A final pass with a dimple seeder on top. Um, and we are where we are now, now with it. It's a little bit thin still, um, but it's new. It's only a few months old still. So in the next couple of weeks, we'll be looking to get an overseed into it again. A very, very light sand dress just to cover that seed. Season, um, and as soon as it starts to get a little bit warmer, we're expecting it to thicken up and be, be perfect and, and on point really for the season when that gets going soon.